Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a kiss pour on this wooden round. I'm going to be using my Primal Flow Premix Ready to Pour paints in Titanium White, Pacific Navy, and Ink and Gold. I love using these paints because they're so easy. You don't have to do any mixing. You just shake the bottle and you're ready to pour. So for the kiss pour technique, you're going to want to have two cups. These are just little eight ounce cups and layer your colors um, in alternate, you know, don't layer them the same way in each cup. Kind of switch and do opposite colors in your right cup than what you did in your left cup. And I like to start in the middle, but you don't have to start in the middle and you just want to pour at a slow, even pace. I really love this technique because it gives you some really fun lines and since the ink and gold is a metallic. It gives you some fun cells on its own. Um, I have quite a few other videos using these Primal Flow Premix Ready to Pour paints. I will link some of my favorites down below in the description box if you guys want to check out any of my other videos using these paints. So I'm just giving it a tilt to see what I can come up with. I absolutely love how this one turned out, um, but unfortunately, you know, I didn't prime the wooden round, so my piece got a little bit warped as it was drying. I was super bummed about that, um, and I should have went in and primed the board, so that way, you know, I didn't have the problems with the warping, but that's okay. Lesson learned. It's one of those things where, you know, it was a learning experience. I still think it turned out really pretty. Um, like I said, the kiss pour technique is one of my favorite techniques. I just feel like they always turn out really, really gorgeous. And I love the lines that you get from this technique. And I'll be sure to link the Primal Flow paints down below in the description box if you guys wanna check them out. Um, they're my favorite paints because they're so easy to use. And since I had some problems with my board warping, I ended up adding some glitter glass to this piece. Um, so after it was dry, I added a thin, clear coat of resin, and then I sprinkled on some large, um, chunky glitter glass or glass glitter. It's uh, clear glitter, and you can get it from Laura's Art Corner. I'll link it down below with my dis in my description box, um, so you can get a discount if you guys want to pick some up. And um, I just sprinkled that on top of the wet resin. Um, I just, you know, didn't really like, you know, the way it was warped, and I probably could have fix that but I just decided to put glass glitter on it because I made a piece previously that was a 12 by 24 and um, I wasn't happy with it so I put the glitter glass on it and it turned out really pretty. So here's a clip of how it looks with the glitter glass. See that awesome sparkle? It's just so beautiful. It really spruces up pores that you're just kind of meh about. Um, so I'll be sure to link that down below and you don't have to use resin to apply the glitter glass. You can use Mod Podge, just paint on the Mod Podge and sprinkle the glass glitter on top, or you could even use a glue that would work fine too. So yeah, I just wanted to upload this video and show you guys a piece that I had been working on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I'll be sure to link Primal Flow Paints down below in the description box as well if you guys want to check them out. Um, like I said, they're my favorite paints. They're so easy to use. You just shake the bottle and pour. Thanks for watching. Leave me a like if you liked the video and I will see you guys on Friday for another video. Bye!